great, great way to get back in there. Um, but when you look at sort of what the risk reward is, the risk of dashing back like that is he's still in the corner. And you can still continue to press. I, I understand absolutely where you're coming from. Yeah, like, I do think that there is some merit to that particular dash back, though. Fair enough. But as we can, <laughs> we're going to be trying to see in this set maybe like something that is uh, that was applicable in the previous is being able to have strong pressure and to make your opponent feel slow. And one of the best things that uh, that Kazuya can do is make your opponent feel inadequate in damage. Uh, and potentially inadequate period. Like. Ouch. Hilarious. Now and he the picked pitch. up the slip! <gasps> okay, what, what a catch! catch. <laughs> what a catch! <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> if you had just thrown it away! Did he get another one? No, he's still he grabbed it. Okay. Wow. Oh my. 50%. And, and that, that stitch still put in work on the next stock. It whittled that shield down to nothing. Big, 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 big. And Skeet is. Now, Skeet's a strong player in their own right, having a. Uh, I believe having a win or multiple like, game wins and set wins on a lot of the New York PR, just unable to make it themselves. Yeah. Uh, because of some inconsistency. But when they are. Yeah. When they're on, they're on fire. But thankfully for player four, they were equally strong at playing this wall out game. But Electric oh, Wind yeah. God Fist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's almost like his own float cancel, but it's it. on the ground. I'm just saying, for the purposes of micro spacing, it's pretty good. Well, who needs micro spacing when you have punch? I would say that no, the punch it 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 occupies so many of your opponent's tiny little micro adjustments. Right, yeah. Fujin <laughs> Kaiji. Uh, ooh, a lot of rage here and plenty of weight oh. as well to survive that dash attack. But at the very least, that red aura is gone. The player four doesn't have to worry necessarily. Oh, you start to worry about dying. Ooh. Furps tech down smash. That's a new one. <laughs> Was he expecting to get a reset there? Uh, I mean, down smash does combo. You can get. Uh, well, he missed the tech, and I thought he went for like a jab or something like that afterwards. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. We'll have, we'll have to get a maybe get a second peek at that. But either yeah. way, early peach damage. Like player four, just honestly playing this matchup so unbelievably well. Like you need yeah. to make Kazuya feel bad in disadvantage. And okay, yeah. but here's the thing. Peach is great at getting that lower percent. Where she struggles is when it comes to killing. And that is, Kazuya doesn't give a damn about taking 100 if he's then able to immediately retaliate with some crazy zero to, oh, if you get side, okay, good. There we go, I was Greedy. Yeah. Greedy. Trying to go for full hot, uh, trying to go for double jump into the Demon God Fist, that side beat uh, on stage. Maybe get the- Look get, up Buster jump square. Get the stun. Uh, sorry. <laughs> well, sorry, I just got thrown off a little bit. My bad. But the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but still, very well played. Like you do that forward air every single time because if Kazuya, like, maybe you're able to hit below ledge there. If Kazuya does even one thing, if your opponent even does one thing wrong, uh, they get obliterated by that forward air. Yeah. Now, one thing is we didn't really see any crazy early stocks from. Steve. The sort of no, we didn't. Yeah, we, we when we think of Kazuya, there are certain images that flash through our <laughs> minds. And I feel like we didn't really have to relive any trauma in that last game. It was a pretty standard fare. Like, yeah, he was getting tons of damage at lower percent. Yeah, yeah right he there. Did, he did he, crouch jab down smash. Wait, wow. so I did, was he expecting to get a reset? Does that move ever reset? Jab reset? Uh Crouch jab when done. I don't know if crouch jab can uh, can space jab so. reset. It, I, I don't recall immediately if it can, but uh, just because. I mean, obviously it, it didn't there. Yeah. Maybe he was expecting it, and that's why he went for the down smash. But like know. you can do crouch jab one two. Like you can do like crouch jab crouch jab electric, and that would have set up into an up smash. That would have been an up B. Instead, went for down smash, which I honestly think was meant to be an electric. Oh, because you do like one two both. Uh, Kazuya thinks. So. Kazuya thinks thrown out forward smash at nobody. Casper got fucked up though. <laughs> Interesting stage pick here. I feel like this center platform is really good for Kazuya. Like the stage, the stage is good for Kazuya oh, in a lot dead? of ways. Uh, yes. Oh. 
gardening. Gardening's pretty good. And for a matchup that is widely considered, like, extremely Kazuya favorite, by the way. Like, Peach can't really float and pressure with hitboxes like back air when Kazuya can invuln through them with a variety of different moves. So, player four is playing this, like, super non-committal, like, very seldomly pressing buttons, instead focusing on, like, a juggle game and uh, grab attempts and just being pure with his spacing. Yeah, I feel like that's really what's... Saturn. Oh, wow. I mean, that's one way to take out DLC Wave 2. It's RNG. Yeah, you yeah. know. We've seen Playerful in this bracket, in this set alone, pull a Stitch and a Saturn. In an earlier set, he pulled a Bomb. So And also a Stitch. And, all, and another Stitch. Okay. So, you know, he's feeling good. Uh. <laughs> I'm glad we were both men of culture. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Finally taking that first stock, but 152. Oh. And he doesn't even have that. I mean, he still has normal Rage, but he doesn't have that juicy yeah, he extra Kazuya yeah, rage. rage Drive. Uh, tempting for the double. Oh, no. <laughs> I love that. Well, the thing is, like, first of all, why would you do that to the poor man? Uh, <laughs> oh, the but, uh, I'm getting caught. Yeah, it's, that covers a lot of space, a oh, lot yes. of options, especially because Dot Eyes. Yeah, Dot Eyes is so good for those combos, especially at these low percents. Yeah, he misses it. Player 4 being so prepared with the DI here, but oh, gets the first hit of Tsunami Kick, but is able to pivot into the jab 1 2 Gates of Hell. Flash Tornado whiffing, guts the Flash Punch combo. Just trying to get as much damage as possible here. A Dragon Uppercut should take the stock if they want to go for it, or just try and set up for a combo of their own. Ooh, but okay, so Winky Face, Dot Eyes back, back to back. Like, for real? For real, boss? Still alive, though. And if there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, well, no more will, no more way. That's going to be game two, 2-0. Two, oh, and I would have actually said this is a pattern has been established here that player four getting really early damage. And then from there, just honestly, from when it says 3-2-1 start all the way until game, his spacing is immaculate. That's Kazuya sad. has DLC wave two hitboxes. Mm -hmm. He does. Doesn't look like that because he's just constantly always just outside of range. Yeah, instead of trying to play the, the walling game, excuse me, the walling game, he's just playing the spacing game, just back and forth using float as that tool, uh, as a tool for movement exclusively, not trying to mix up any float cancels, any float, like trying to be aggressive with any back airs or nares. No, they, that gets you hit by any means of starter into potential early stock. Cannot take those risks, and it has been the, it's been the float and the farming game. Yeah, I think the other part that, you know, Skeet is maybe lacking on just a little bit is those kills. We're not really seeing these brutal finishers. He's, it's like Peach is living to, like, what, 115, 120 at least every single stock? That's, that's not how this character was designed in Envision. He's supposed to be throwing people into a volcano at 60. Yeah. And maybe we'll see if, oh. Nothing. It feels like they've have they've had everything on deck, except like some repeated electric setups. But in order to get the the longer early percent combos, and instead you're just finding the late percent two pieces, two three pieces, which still does plenty of damage. Like 100 yeah, yeah. is nothing to sneeze at. Winky face. Yeah. Yeah. Winky face. Um. I will also say that it feels like the combo game has shifted more for like trying to go for the guaranteed stuff that's very technical to instead mix-ups and resets. You know, getting re-grabs and just getting consistent damage in that way. And that's gonna do it. I like this adjustment from Skeet. Yeah, I think Skeet is like taking a page uh, out of the, the XL book uh, for uh, Axiom XL up in New England where he plays, uh, as they affectionately call it, uh, Timeout Kazuya, where sometimes you don't need to put all your eggs in the basket of, uh, I'm going to touch you and kill you. That is over-centralizing. Instead, you play this like command dash heavy game where you play, this, you mix in the fact that you have auto turnaround dash back and an invincible command dash forward. You cover space. You use things like flash tornado and up air to extend your juggles. And it's a, it's a way to play Kazian. It's an efficient way to when you're not feeling confident in being able to always maximize your output. I've got, I mean, it got XL top eight to shine. 
Oh, I was actually just about to ask because it felt like player four was floating at that specific range and not really getting, he was just kind of doing it for free. And what is the option that Kazuya has when Peach is floating there? Well, once he gets a little bit too close to the ground and Electric Wind got fist. Right, Fujin got that. <laughs> I, I, yes. I, I defer to your judgment on that one. Uh, either side me and take 50. Why not? Oh, no, he's gone. Okay, doing nice little stall with the demon laser there. Another jump from ledge. Keep an eye on those. That could be free reign for a peach forward air or a peach back air. If having the chance to, goes for it yet again. Another one of those jump from ledge. Double, the double jump cancel searing edge. That forward air. Great hitbox. Can trade with peaches. I like that. Actually catching the turnips. That was something that player forward had been doing. He even got kills with it earlier on. And, okay, nice back air there. Uh, All right, he said it. Said the thing, everybody. He said the thing. He said the thing. <laughs> it was a conjunction. It was. It was basically an extended conjunction. It's like how you would use and or but. Uh, it was the connective <laughs> tissue between two thoughts and should not be treated as anything more meaningful than that. I'm sorry. Uh, you are correct. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Wait, that was so unnecessarily swag. What the heck? <laughs> So in the 10-hit combo, uh, Kazuya performs the, the wall rising input, which is uh, you don't get the same damage, but it does still create the crumple. But if you specifically stop at hit 9, you get that same kind of setup. <laughs> dumb. Really dumb. <laughs> but here we are at, an e at the most even game of the set and a very high potential for Skeet just to kind of all in on the, uh, all in on the rage drive, but it Ooh. disappears. Another jump, by the way. He still has plenty of kill power, but that side B isn't enough to do it. We even see the starts of an air dodge, but yeah, he was already in the blast zone. That's going to be a 3-0 for player four. What is he doing? Uh, Yo, wait. Oh. Okay. Yo, if you try to hug player four, what's his what's his counterplay? When you he grapple him. You. When you <laughs> see, I literally said the same thing. Wait, I, I missed it. What was it? <laughs> he suplexes you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't hug. Oh, here he comes for. with the chair. <laughs> I, I wish I could tell you. Like <laughs> this is <laughs> that's the defense. <laughs> this, this looks like a man who does not want to be hugged right now. It's like, what are you doing? It's, well, it's, it's he's seeing an unfamiliar sort of. Uh, it's like could handing caveman fire. What are they gonna do the first time they see it? <laughs> what does this face say? Like out of context, what does this face mean to you? <laughs> I like how he pivoted and was like, okay, no, this is a hug now. But for so much of that exchange, he was like, are you coming at me? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Xeno Arcadian, everybody, this has been a wild time. <laughs> yeah, and uh, 